Capital Chaos! Capital Chaos! Capital Chaos. Capital Chaos. Chaos. Capital Chaos. Alright, this is Heathen Scum with the Mentors, and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos. I agree. I agree. So, have you guys been following or into the whole Occupy movement? I'm into occupying pussy. <laughs> I, I try to occupy pussy every time I, I get, you know. So, you don't see the point of camping out to try to get your rights? and. I, I will camp out to get pussy. Very nice. You know, I mean, really. I mean, I, I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, I mean, just give me a tent and we'll go in it. And Well, yeah. you know... Here's the thing. These these people have been fucked over by the rich fuckers who are raping and pillaging America and with their greed and their bullshit. And we support them 110%. We're going to pl uh, play the Occupy uh, San Francisco thing, I think, coming up. Isn't that correct, Mad Dog? We're, yeah, we've been yeah. offered to play We've been that. offered to play the Golden yeah, Gate I Occupy. I want to do that just so I can score some acid over there in, in Golden Gate Park, oh which is one of the last places I, apparently you can get the acid uh, on the West Coast. So I want to play over there for that. But if some of these Occupy people need a job, they need to know mentors are hiring right now. We're looking for roadies, uh, sound technicians, um, armed robbery people that can help us support, you know, by robbing uh, banks. We don't want to camp out. We want to actually <laughs> rob banks, you know. So we'll give them the, the basic banks and the ideas of how they'll rob the bank. Then we get 50% of the money from their robberies. So we, we're happy to support them, but we do want to let them know there is hope. There is employment, a future, and a good career with with mentors. Yes. And also prostitution, um, white slavery, black slavery, uh, porno dealing, drug dealing is, is, is another way that we have, uh, you know, uh, money-making opportunities for these unemployed people. So don't just camp out. I mean, come on. That's pretty wimpy just to say, Ooh. You know. <laughs> you Plus, know. my question is, how do they shower? I'm, I'm just curious. They pee on each other. I was going to say that, but you beat me to it. <laughs> I, I, I have a question. How do I shower? I, I, you know. you don't. I thought we don't. I'm a, I'm a pirate, so I don't know about you guys, but I know about myself. <laughs> uh, that, yeah. <laughs> That's why God made pee. Yeah. That's why God gave pee to you. Too. You can drink it. It's all it is. is Recycle water. Don't Vitamins and water, just drink it. And pee and beer, because beer is pretty much water and that's pee. Yeah. So, same thing. Yeah, poop. it's like recycling. Sometimes poop is sweet. Really? Yeah, how'd it Are taste? Are there Occupy people here right now in Sacramento that we can go bring over to the show? Yeah, they actually, they're downtown at, I, I believe it's Cesar Chavez Park, but Do they, they are downtown. So let's call them up. I don't think so. <laughs> 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 but they are down there having fun in their tents. Cesar Chavez has a park? Yeah. Right, right on. Ironic, cool. right? No, no, hey. <laughs> and he has a fucking holiday. Then fuck it. Why Let me not? tell you what, these rich assholes that are exploiting these poor bastards are not going to give them any money from them camping out. That's not going to work. No. I'll tell you that right now. They need to get a little bit more violent on that. I mean, at least make a mosh pit type of activity, even if it's not true violence, you know. That, that's what I would recommend they do. But again, like I said, mentors are hiring. We have, uh, you know, it's kind of a pyramid scheme. For every dollar they make, we take uh, $2 from them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a win-win situation for, uh, for us and for us. Sounds like the government. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So tax-free. The, the money they make is tax-free. At least it's a system that will <laughs> screw them and they can screw us back. Right? Kind of yeah. like religion. Yeah. Yeah, definitely like yes. religion. Re so are you religious? Do you pray to... No. Me no, either. To El Duce. That's I'll, a good I'll, person I'll to pray, pray to. Yeah, I'll pray to our Lord El Duce. Yeah. Um, when I got to hey, meet... I got to say something about religion. Right. That, you hit a hot button with me. Oh. Like you know... <laughs> that that really hit a hot button. I, you know, these squares and these hypocrites, especially in these churches, they're preaching against mentors, saying that mentors is bad. They're molesting little boys left and right. And, uh, you know, it was just announced today that the head uh, guy of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles had to resign because he had two bastard children. Wow. And, uh, well, at least he was a hetero, not a homo. But, yeah. but uh, 
you know, this is a bullshit thing. And now the sports world, as we've seen, is being uh, implicated. You know, when I was in high school, I didn't like the jocks. And fuck those jocks. Now those dumb sports teams are being exposed for the hotbeds of homosexual pedophilia that they are, as seen by this Joe Paterno asshole who was molesting all these little children in the shower. And uh, so, you know, fuck them. Bottom line, fuck them. Mentors, and that's it. Punk rock is the only thing that's okay. And, uh, you know, I just wish the Gilman people would understand that we're on their side. We're, no, we're not fighting with them. I mean, they want to fight with us. Come on. We've been fighting for your rights at Gilman since day one. Yeah. So it's kind of a, a paradoxical that they want to ban us from over there. But, you know, that's maybe in a couple of years they'll see the error of their ways when they grow up. I can hope so. Is, have you guys been banned from many places? A lot. <laughs> Canada. We are. Really? Yeah. The, they said we're a hate group. Yeah, they said we're a hate group, and I am a terrorist. Really? Yeah, yeah. And they uh, they left me in a room pretty much like this, handcuffed naked for it was about 30 hours, and then they let uh, a feminist. Uh, what were they? Border Patrol. Canadian Border Patrol. Well, they're not Border Patrol. They're, they're uh, immigration people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They let the female one just punch me in the face about ten times. True story. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. We play in Italy and all over, but when we get to Italy, there's riots in the streets about, you know, mentors. And, you know, it just, it just happens. You know, it happens. It's misunderstood. They see the hoods as being KKK. It's the farthest from KKK it is. One, it's black. Um... You know, they just, some people just don't understand, and, and it's just a sad thing. It's a sad thing, period. I mean, they don't understand that, that you know, no matter what we say, we're not raping chicks, we're raping their ears. You know, we're raping rock. Like the government rapes, yeah, the government rapes your wallets, well, we rape rock and roll, you know, what okay? what usually happens when we sit down one-to-one -one with some of these people that are protesting mentors, we convince them that mentors are okay. But what we think it is is a conspiracy by a lot of the other bands that are shittier bands that they start spreading lies about us and convince people that have even heard our band that we're racist or sexist or all this kind of stuff. I mean, we've been talking to you for the last, what, 10 minutes? Have we have we raped you or hit you so far? My butt doesn't hurt at all. Oh, we're not going to do that without paying and asking permission. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> All right, so to the fans that are watching this, the people that have never heard your music or anyone across the world, what would you like to say to them completely uncensored? Where the fuck you been? <laughs> I mean, we've been out since 1977. How could you not hear us? You fucking, <laughs> you call yourselves fucking punk rock? Hey, look, yeah, he's got a fucking patch. He's a fucking young guy. <laughs> you know, you call yourself fucking punk rock? Where the fuck have you been, you fucking dumb fucks? Go put on your sweaters. Go listen to fucking emo, you fucking crybabies. Piece of shit. That's about it. All right, and you? Well, I don't want to take such a uh, harsh tone towards those people as my <laughs> colleague over here. I would just say, please, you know, give our music a listen and, uh, you know, please come to our show and, you know, have a beer with us, smoke some pot, you know, uh, if you've got some chicks, bring them and, uh, you know, we could go off with them for a while. We'll, we'll, we'll pay you a, a percentage of what we pay normally for their women. Um, so it would be great, you know. I think it would be really cool. So is it true that you guys let hot naked chicks into your shows for free hot or is chicks, that... Hot chicks always get in free at mentor shows. That is awesome. Oh, and in fact we're giving away... An, uh, we're giving away... Chick right here to, to, to dance for us. Oh wait, that's you. They stole a picture from my Facebook. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> look at, Look at that fucking pie on Boy, that bitch that's right a there. Pirate Yay! Thing. I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't Up the punks! <laughs> I'm going to make you walk the plank, feed you to the shark. <laughs> Arr! <laughs> All right, I want to thank both of you guys so much well, for taking the much. time to meet we with me. That. I really look forward to seeing you inside. Well, thank you. Me. <laughs> me. To see your insides. <laughs> you know. All I right. I have some tweezers and a microscope so you can see me also. I don't know, but we got a lot of prophylactics inside, so we're good. All right. Excellent. Capital Chaos I signing off. Back on you. <laughs> thank you. This is Mad Dog from The Mentors, and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos.